Hello and welcome to week 7. We are about halfway, a little past halfway now as we're 11 weeks, so I guess 6.5 would have been the midway work. So we're a little past halfway of season 2. We have some teams that are undefeated. By that, I mean only one team, which is my team, Yui Gaoka Girls Group 2, whatever I'm calling it. And then we have teams who still only have one win. Speaking of which, Nijugaku second years only have one win so far, with five losses. And on the right we have Arais, which has a record of 3-3. Three three. So let's see if the second years for Nijugaku are going to have any life left in the season, or if Arais is going to move up to 4. Alright, what's this? Wind Waker for Zelda here? So, of course, Nijugaku wants any chance of getting to the playoffs here. A win is pretty critical as they can basically end up with a 65 record best case scenario, which could be just enough to get into the playoffs. But they're going to have to win non stop here. Otherwise, another loss here should pretty much doom them. Alright, so we got, uh, I guess, second years Nijugaku are doing a little better here. But even if they do win this one, they need a lot of wins here to get anywhere. Looks like Setsuna gets a big hit on Supusa. Supusa's been struggling early on this match here, taking quite of a beating at 98%, while like Ayumu is still at uh, 30. And Ai is the first to die here as she drowns. So that's going to give Ai a bit of an early lead here. Otherwise, Nijugaku is still doing okay here, despite that death here. If they can just continue what they're doing, they should be able to recover from that death as they've been out damaging their opponents here. So they could potentially get the lead here, but Ai's just not doing well here. She's been taking a, a really big beating. And she's, she's not incredibly far from her next death, to be honest. And... They go for the spike here, but we're not able to get it as it's in water. I get a nice hit to finish off Supusa. And there goes Edina. I think she just used enough being kill herself? Can't. I think I missed that, but that means that Ice is down two lives here. Well, Nijigaku is just down one life here. And make that two as. Make that three as I dies and. Make that four as a human dies. So all of Nijigaku just died there. I've got a really question what the heck I was doing there. I think she just walked up the stage to kill herself, which there's zero good reason for that. And then she takes a big hit. I is just definitely shrugging here. Although she gets she has two kills. Whatever that means at this point. So now Nijigaku's in pretty big trouble here. Uh, they all, Nijigaku almost got a kill there, but it looks like not quite enough. That's uh, was pushed off really far to the side here, but she'll live. And that will fish off Anju. Now all of Arais has lost a life here. I think that's definitely taking a bit more, more of a beating here. We have one extra life for Arais here. But I is very close to dead. She almost just died there. Double told still to get back on stage here. It's an awful lot of swimming in this match here. I get a nice hit on Edina, but Edina does not die as she was launched the wrong way for death, I would guess. We get some idols here with really high percentages, and I and Ayumi die, and now it's just Setsuna and I here. Ayumi does not get another chance in our life because I guess I was doing better with the lies. I don't know. So we got two lives on a lot more than two, Well, we got five for Arai, so Arai should move to four and three here as Nichi Gug's second years are pretty toast, and it's pretty safe to say they will not be making it to the playoffs at this point. And I don't know, statistically speaking, if they can't, but might as well be. Nichi Gug needs way more than a miracle here to win here and I almost dies there and there goes I and it's just Setsuna
She's staying alive because <laughs> they have trouble hitting her, but <laughs> she's not gonna get anywhere just by dodging. There's another hit on Setsuna. She wrecks him on more damage here. She's been good at dodging, I guess. But you go and dodge so many. And there we go. She is done. So a trash performance by Nichigaku. Despite having a decent early star here. As I, despite dying a lot, she got kills, which she came and say that for her teammates. Uh, we had Anju doing pretty well here. She got five and one. So Anju carried the match here. Adina got three and two, which is also pretty good here. But um Let's take a look at the damage differential. So I just didn't deal damage. She took a, quite a beating here. But she was able to get kills, which her teammates were not able to do at all. So that's not very good at all. I guess I am with dealt more damage than she received, so I guess that is a small pride spot, but not a, not a good performance here for Nijigaku, but Arais did pretty well here, so good for them. Arais moves to 4 and 3, and Nijigaku second years moved to 1 and 6. Welcome to the second battle. We have new first years with a record of 4 and 2, and on the right we have the Nijigaku third years, which have a record of 3 and 3. So let's go ahead and jump into the battle. Alright, Super Mario Odyssey. Ooh, a big hit. But of course, it's way too early for any hit to be killing here. We got the uh, Nichigo 3rd years taking a bit of a beating by the first years here. The music has also been a little bit of the better team. At least what the record would indicate, but uh, I believe they don't, they, they were a foreign one until my team came up. Which is currently undefeated, making it difficult. Looks like everyone made back on stage in time, since sometimes the bots don't like doing that for whatever reason. Oop, oh, stage is disappearing. Guess, no, some people will die because of that unfortunate disappearance of stage, which put him in a bad position, which made him so they can't recover very well. So Emma ends up losing a life there. Oh, a massive hit, and there goes Kanata. So, Nijuku third years are taking a bit of a beating here. And that'll be Emma who got the kill on Maki. And then Kanata just died. So, all of Nijuku now have lost a life here. Haneo and Rin are still holding on to the original lice. And they both have a kill each here. Maki, I guess, also has a kill as. She also died to her score would just be a zero. Ooh, I don't know about that Kanan. Nope, Kanan will be punished as the stage will move on away. She got told so she could not make the recovery back. And that would be Maki. She's down to her final life here. Ooh, nope. Kanan gets wrecked there and Maki lost another life already? Okay, so she'll steal life from Rin here. So let's see, we're back to even alliance because Maki just straight up Got rid of a life for good, no good reason here. So that was just a strange play there, but otherwise, it's a pretty even match here. Rin is still holding on to her first life. She's doing pretty well there, and Maki, ooh, she went for a big hit on uh, Kanan but missed. That would have finished off Kanan, but if Kanan punished, she could have finished off Maki there. Emma's getting really high percentage here, and now she has no percentage. <laughs> Because she just died. That was down to her final life here. Cotton's struggling to hold on here. And Rin finally loses her first life here. So it's just a one life lead for Muse. As Hanyo is still holding on to her second life here. But she's really high percentage. Cotton's barely staying alive at this point. So if Ichigaku wants a chance to win, there we go. They have to finish off Hanyo right there. Now Cotton needs to stay alive. And hope for a big mistake by their opponent. Everyone wants to make their recovery. They looked a little dicey there. There goes Kanan. She has been eliminated. And there goes Kanata. She has been eliminated. And that should end the deal here. 
Emma can't do much against a 3v1 here. So this should be it here. Emma's struggling just to even get a hit off. And that will finish her off. As the first tier for Muse will go to 5 and 2. A very impressive record indeed. You need to go to 30 to move to 3 and 4. Pretty good overall performances all from the first years from Muse. Maki did commit suicide though, which made it unnecessarily closer. But she still did pretty well if you ignore that. Take a look at the damage differentials here. No one on Ichigaku did well in that department. Kanan did the worst. Yeah, it looks like she did the worst here. So, ugh. But Maki did very well, and if you take away that. That suicide, he did really, really well. And I guess uh, Rin probably did the best here, at least damn differential wise. So, I, I'll probably give it to Rin here. Yet. But overall, a good match by the first year for Muse. So they will move to record of 5 and 2. Hello and welcome to the third battle. We have on the right the third years for Muse, which has a record of 1 and 5. The worst, I guess not the worst is technically because it's 1 and 6, not official worst record here, but they were tied for worst record before this versus the best record, 6 and 0. Is this going to be killing? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe Nico will come and become a god and maybe her teammates won't suck so much. But we'll have to see, don't we? Alright, let's see if I can stay undefeated here. We're on a classic stage here. Ow. Okay, got a hit on nose meter. Ah, I'm gonna take quite a beating here. All right. Oh, I got it. I got the kill. Nice. Oh my God! Yikes! That was rude. Hello, no, you mean? Oh, jeez. Ow. Too many idle love for me. I don't need it. Ow. That was not part of the plan. I was hoping I would hit them. Ow, jeez. Bye, Nico. Bye, Ellie. Oh, no, it's me. No washies for me. Come here. Oh. Oh, ow. No, thank you, Nico. Ouch. Oh, come on. Oh. I think we have the slight lead here. Ouch. This is way closer than I want it to be. Oh. My basic strategies are not working here. Oh my god. Oh, jeez! Yikes. Ah, uh, okay, I'll steal life from my teammates because I can't do anything because I'm bad at this game. Oh, that hit me. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I missed that. Jeez. I should have gone closer. Come on. Oh my god, Nico. Master Dodger. Come here, Nico. I'm waiting. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so useless. Okay. So my team will move to 7 and 0, which is the Yui Gaka second group. And uh, the third year from Muse will move to 1 and 6. Yikes. But hopefully my team's a lock in the playoffs at this point here. So I guess I got 5 kills here. Don't remember how I did it, but I did. And then my teammates both went 2 and 1. Also very good records. Honestly, I didn't expect LA to do the best on their team. She went 3 and 2, which is pretty good. Notice me didn't do so hot here and Nico did a lot worse than she normally does. So, very interesting to see how that went out. Because I think you... Well, I mean, those me and Ellie have been the ones who has been struggling normally. And then there's my normal damage differential of being really bad. Oh my goodness, Rent and not in a canon. So, she dealt 400% here and only took 165. What a carry here by her. I'm just there to deal big launch hits and take a beating because I... I really took a beating. I just kept getting hit and hit and hit, so not the best for me here. But I know they can deal damage, but they struggle to finish off. So that's my goal here, is to beat something that they don't do as well. But I definitely took a beating here. But congratulations, I guess, to my team to stay undefeated. Hello and welcome as now we have a bell of Aqua for battle number four. Takwas, we had the second years and third years. On the left, we had the second years, which have the exact same record as the third years, four and two. So let's see which year has the better girls. Hey, we got Castlevania here. Too bad Yoshiko isn't in here, but I guess no. We don't want home field advantage here. I guess the rest of Guilty Kiss can try to challenge that energy here. But it's one each, so we'll see who ha harnesses better. Would it be Mari or Rico here? Okay, let's see. Mari has been taking a little bit of beating here. And Mari looks like she's not channeling in that energy yet. We'll have to see if she'll chill in that fallen angel energy soon here. But definitely been struggling here. There's a big hit for Chica on Dai here, trying to teach the Sioux Council President that she is the real deal here. Dai is definitely fighting back, pushing back, making sure that Chica doesn't get an opportunity to create anything here. Radio has got a big charge ready and misses, but she still gets a big hit on the Kanan. And then go dies. And there goes Daya as she flies onto the screen here. So the lives are in favor of no one now as Chica just dies. Rico is at a really high percentage, so it's Kana here. Kana rolling with 150 here. One big hand, she should be finished. Kana gets a nice hit on two of them, but was able, also able to avoid a big hit on her. There goes Rico as she has now lost her first life. So now just Kana holds on to original life here. Mari's gotten two kills so far here. Channeling a bit of that Yushiko Yohane energy here. And but she's also at a really high percentage here. Looking to die at any moment at this point. Ganon's now in the 200% here. She's she is desperately holding on. All of the third years are at a really high percentage here. There goes Kanan, she will not make the recovery. Ooh. Die a what, just toad stole Yo, so she could not make the recovery here. Nasty, nasty move by her. As Dai decides to push her out. So now, there goes Chica, and the second years are down to four lives versus the six lives of the third years. Mari is, yeah, figured she was gonna die there. So Mari's down to her final life here. So now the life is just in favor, one extra life in favor of the third years, but 
Guy is at a solid 169%, nice. So now he's at 175, so she's definitely really high here. So a big hit and she should be finished. But Udai getting a massive hit on two of the members of the second years here. Because and Yo are getting pretty high in percentage here though. There goes Kanon as she's now to her final life. Daya is at still under 75 here. To lose her life at any moment. And then was it? Did I get that kill on Rico? Ooh, nope. Daya was able to avoid a very, very costly hit here. And it goes Yo, but Daya finally falls. It's two on three lies here. No one has extra life, and Yo gets eliminated. A big hit for Daya on Chica. So it's starting to look really, really bad for the second years here. I guess the goal is try to kill Madi here, but the other two are just at such a low percentage here. Rico's definitely struggling here. Chica's trying to throw Cannibal at the ground, I guess. Now we're not even remotely close. So I guess Madi channeled the Johanna energy a little better here. Madi has gotten what three kills, and there goes Chica. And now Rico is the last alive for her team. Let's see if there's any Johanna magic left. No, there isn't. And Madi looks like did the best here as she was able to harness that energy the best here. Not early on, but she found a way, or maybe she bought her way to victory. So congratulations to the third years for Aquas as they claim another victory and move to 5 and 2 while the second years for Aquas will move to 4 and 3. Looks like everyone on the second years got a 2 and 3 here. But Madi did the best here with 5 and 2. Let's take a look at the damage differential. Uh, honestly not too bad numbers for the second years especially Chica. She Really was able to deal out the damage, not get the kills, but she dealt the damage here. But I guess I have to go to Madi because she just got all the kills here, so. Yep, Madi, Madi harnessed the power here. So congratulations to the third years as they move to 5 and 2. Hello and welcome to the 5th out of 6 battles here for week 7. On the left, we have the first years for Niji Gaku, and on the right, we had the first years for Aqua, so we gotta battle the first years here. Niji Gaku has a record of 2 and 4, and Aqua first years also has a record of 2 and 4, so let's see who gets 3 wins and see who gets 5 losses. I believe this is what a Metroid stage here, very, very fitting, of course, for idols. That's what I want to be in a Metroid stage. Kasumi has been taking a little bit of beating here, so it's Trina here. Hanamari gets a few hits there, but she missed the big hit at the end. Ooh, Kasumi will not make recovery here as she... No, well, Yohane, so Yohane falls early, not... and... Kasumi dies again here. That, that was... what? Okay. So Kasumi is... Definitely <laughs> not trying to win. Ooh, ooh, wow, nasty spike on Ruby. That was that was a yikes. Yeah, the disrespect there. So lives are even here. At you know, barely makes that recovery there. I don't know if Harmar can make that recovery. Nope, she can, but she almost got pushed out too far twice there. No, Rena will not make that recovery here. The arena will lose her life now. And she's cool lose life here. The Nichikaku's definitely struggling a little early on here. They're down two lives here. Kasumi already lost all three lives. She's going for a speed run of all deaths here. Um so Hanamaru finally falls. So now it's three lives lost for Aquas. If they can finish off Yoshiko, they do. That'll be a little bit easier chance of getting back in here. So it's just one life extra for Aquas here. But Kasumi just killing herself so many times so quickly is gonna be insanely hard to come back from. Rina's been trying her best here. 
There goes Johanne, that definitely helps. Johanne and Cosme are trying to even each other out with all these quick deaths here that don't make any good sense. So we got four lives on four lives here. But uh, Nichigaku's definitely have a higher percentage here, so they're definitely struggling here. Ooh, that, that's pretty nasty, but uh, she's Hanamaru's a gunner, so she will be able to easily recover. But quite a big launch on her. Ooh, uh, Hanamaru gets finished, she'll steal the extra life from, I believe, Ruby. And then Kasumi's dead. Uh, she might, she will steal the extra life from Reno. I, I, I don't recommend it, but it, she will do it anyways, as she is gonna have another chance at getting kills here. So there goes Ruby. Now it's a two on three, but Reno and she scored real high percentages. So if Hanamaru or Yohane can get a big hit, this will quickly even it out. Yohane is out. So now it's a three v one here. Hanamaru doesn't have much of a chance here. She makes the recovery here. She needs a big hit now, and she needs to finish off Rina and Shizuku. Possible, but unlikely. She was going to get a big hit there, but she gets hit and gets deleted. So congratulations, as the second year Shinichikaku went despite Kasumi being Kasumi and committing suicide many times. And talk about a one... Just a one-man army here with Reno, getting seven kills here. Close to one of the best records. Was it eight and one, I think, we had last week here? So, seven and one. An insane performance by Reno here. And Cosme going one and four. I don't know what she's doing. So, same thing with Johan. I guess they cancel out. What a yikes. But I guess Ruby did her best to try to make up for it, but just wasn't able to. And Hanuman couldn't do a whole lot either. Take a look at the damage differentials here. Yeah, it's just... It's a one... One... Idol show, I guess, with Rina just doing all the damn cheer. I guess Cosmi didn't do as bad as Yushiku, but she just did some suicide here, so whatever that did. I guess she wanted to give the Akaza a chance here, but not enough. But Ruby did, did alright here. But Hanamara just was also struggling here. So, congratulations! to Nijigaku as they move to 3 and 4 solely by the efforts of Rina here while the first year's Trakos will move to 2 and 5. Hello and welcome to the final battle here. We have new second years which has the same record as Yuigaku group 1. A record of 3 and 3. So let's see who will move to 4 and 3 and who will move to 3 and 4. Alright we're on what do you call it? Kidic Kid Icarus, the pit stage. So the uh, whether the platforms are destructible. I'm assuming as long as that's the one I have enabled. So you gotta be careful as the stages might break and then you could fall through them. Wow, a massive hit on Sumina really early on. That's gonna be a yikes for Yui Gaoka as they are gonna fall a little bit behind here. Monoka tried to recover through a stage. It doesn't work. So she will die early on here at and Kotri once again try to recover through a stage. That is a big yikes as they lost two lives when they really didn't have to. And it goes Umi now and it goes Hanukkah again. So Muse is just self-destructing here with three pretty much suicides here. Trying to recover through a stage. That that's just not that's just not how you do it. Despite, despite the early kill on it. They are sh get struggling on uh, Chisato is dead. Umi gets a nice kill on Chisato. Uh, they have to kill uh, Kuku now if they want to get a chance here. But it's definitely not not looking good here for Umi's second years. Sonic is down to her final life here already. So they, get, they got Kuku, so it's a one life lead for Yui Gaoka, mainly because Umi's just being stupid. So that's not good for him. Umi gets a nice hit, but that should not finish Asumina. She should easily recover from that. But it's still a nice hit for Umi on her. Asumina is at a really high percentage here. So if they can finish her off, they can get back to even on lives. Uh, 
got three. Oh, well. oh no, she's, now she should recover thanks to Chisato. Onoko has been eliminated. She'll probably see a life here. Kotri lost a life. So Kotri's down to her, her. Yeah, everyone's down to five life and. Oh my goodness, Honoka. Just kill kill herself again. And there goes Kotari. Kotari committing suicide. Honoka committing suicide. Umi's doing her hardest to get anything accomplished here. And then her teammates just kill ourselves. So I guess congratulations to you, Goku, because they didn't commit suicide a lot. And that will finish off Umi. Just a disaster by Honoka and Kotri. Just. I don't know what they're trying to accomplish, but if Suicide is what they're trying to accomplish, they were successful here. Honoka went 2 and 4, and Kotri went with 0 and 3. That's just. That's just not how you do it. So I guess congratulations to you, Goku, although they got credit for suicides. It's like. I mean, I guess it counts. So. Good job to you, Goku, I guess? They really didn't deal that much damage. Damage Honoka did a lot of damage when she was on stage, but that's about it. She killed herself a lot. Call three didn't even do that, and we'll be doing her best to carry this team. So the third, uh, now in the second years for Muse, we'll move to three and four. While Yui Galka will move to four and three. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below about these battles. Hopefully you guys enjoy them. I guess I'm still doing well here, 7 and 0 here. Probably lock for players at this point. While the both 1 win teams stayed at 1 win, so they're pretty much over for them. Is that the best they can get? 5 6, which I don't think you're going to probably make the playoffs with a below 500 record or having less wins than losses. So, so that's definitely not a good sign for them. So they are pretty much toast, but it's still anyone's game for any other team in here. Next week, I will be facing in the last match against the third years for Nijigaku and they would have a what's their record uh, three and four probably I had to double check that so let's we'll see how that goes so let me know who you guys are rooting for or you think your team's gonna make it in the playoffs you didn't think that let me know in the comments below who do you think is the best fighter out here probably not me obviously my damn differential says so but let me know thank you guys for watching and I hope to catch you guys in another video soon